Then people, we are moving on to, to, to tropical cyclones now. And at tropical cyclones, I'm going to look at basically three things, the characteristics of, of tropical cyclones, the stages of the uh, uh, tropical uh, uh, cyclones, and how tropical cyclones can be, can be uh, uh, managed. Um, yeah, I see we've got the question here, uh, the difference between a mid-latitude cyclone and, and, and a tropical uh, uh, cyclone. Uh, people just remember, I've shown you on the first slide, the, the, the mid-latitude cyc uh, cyclones that we find here around about here by the polar front, your tropical cyclone uh, in, in the region of, of, of the equator. Of course, the destruction of a tropical cyclone is much, much more, but a bit more of that later on. Let's have a look at the characteristics of your tropical cyclone. Now, people, what we've got here, we've got a slide here where I'm going to show you all the different characteristics of the tropical cyclone on one slide. If you understand what's going on here, you will be able to understand your tropical cyclone much, much easier. So just, let's just have a look at, at, at this. The first thing, people, is that you must know where do tropical cyclones occur. Where do tropical cyclones occur? And that is very, very, very important. They occur, you must, three things very important with the tropical uh, 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 cyclones. They occur firstly in the tropics, that's why they call it a tropical cyclone, over the ocean, and they are find, found further than five degrees from the equator. So that's the first thing that you must know. Then regarding the movement, three things regarding the movement very important. They uh, tropical cyclones move from east to west. And I want you to follow the slideshow now. See how these tropical cyclones are moving from east to west. But the second thing is just as important. Tropical cyclones always move away from the equator. And important that in the eye of the tropical cyclone, there's no wind, no rain, no clouds. Let's continue with the movement. Yeah, our tropical cyclone is busy moving here. Here we're going. And when it hits land, then the tropical cyclone will start destructing the land. And it does so by means of storm winds, torrential rain, and flooding. As the tropical cyclone moves further, then this is a very important thing. As it hits the 30 degrees, it turns towards back towards the east. And then it will dissipate. And why does it dissipate? Because there's no moisture, no warm air, and because of friction. Now, people, if you ever look at, 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 at these things, it's very, very important that you have, that you must see this on, the, on, 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 on our diagram that we've got here. Here in orange, we showed you where the tropical cyclones are found. Why are they found there? Tropics, in the tropics, because they need the, 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 the warm, the warm, air, the warm water. And that is why tropical cyclones you always find about this time of the year here, in, here by us, just, in the, uh, just past summer, around about summer and just past uh, after summer we will find our tropical cyclones. Very important, you must know the three movements from east to west, away from the equator and it turns east at the 30 degrees. Now people, this, uh, these are all the characteristics of the tropical cyclone. And, and I would like you to have a look at this uh, again sometime, because if you know this, you will be able to answer most, if not all, the questions of the tropical cyclone. What's important is that we must also know the development of the tropical cyclones. And as we had a look at the stages of the mid-latitude uh, cyclone, we we also have uh, uh, the tropical cyclone in its, in its different um, stages. Now, we have four stages of the trop tropical cyclone. Firstly, the initial stage. Now, people, you must be able to identify each of these stages. And to identify the stages, there's only one thing that you look at. That has to do with the pressure, the air pressure. And your clue here, your key here, will be a thousand hectopascal. So it's quite easy to remember that. So in your initial uh, stage, your pressure is above a thousand uh, uh, hectopascal. As you can see there, it's currently a thousand and two. In the following one, the immature stage, you will see that the pressure has dropped to below a thousand hectopascal. 
as you can see there, 992 hectopascal that we've got here. And then the following stage will be the mature stage, and there we'll see it's far below or well below 1,000 hectopascal. In this case, 956 and even lower than that as well. And then the important one, dissipation, is when the pressure starts to rise. Here you can see is again uh, 1,000 uh, 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 um, uh, uh, hectopascal. So um, what's very important uh, here, people, the four stages, you must know the four stages. You must know how uh, do you... Uh, 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 identify each of these stages and the only way in which you you uh, identify the stages is to have a look at the thousand uh, hectopascal and um, and uh, uh, you'll be able to identify uh, that, that that one there okay so that will be our tropical cyclone development now a very important question has to do with the management of tropical cyclones how can tropical cyclones be managed. Now, if we have a look at this slide that we've got here, here we see uh, what a country has done to manage the tropical, uh, what precautions have been taken to manage the tropical cyclone. So have a look at this, I have a few of that. Satellite imagery to, to, to try and track the, the, the cyclone. In what direction is it moving? The air radar and remote sensing, how to the, fly the plane still in the, in, in, in the, in the uh, uh, eye of the cyclone and do certain tests there and try to establish what's the strength uh, 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 of, 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 of the, uh, the cyclone. Land radar on this side, everything watching the, the cyclone, keeping track of it and trying to inform people, listen here, the, tropic, the tropical cyclone is on its way, this and this and that you should, uh, you should do. Rescue uh, emergency, rescue uh, services on standby. Then we've got an interesting one, extensive seawalls built here. And that is, uh, uh, um, of course, to stop the flooding uh, of, of, the, uh, uh, um, of the tropical cyclone. Um, we've got the housing built of strong materials, uh, flood proofing, good communications, very important. Right? Uh, we've got clear evacuation uh, routes, evacuation center extensive medical and paramedic uh, uh, provision. Now, people, if you have a look at this, you have quite a few things mentioned here. What can be done to be prepared if a tropical cyclone, a cyclone is approaching you? So this is very, very important, people. Remember that geography is a subject of management. You must be able to manage certain things when these things occur. And this, people, is, um, is, is I think this is a very good diagram showing us how uh, tropical cyclones can uh, be managed. So let's just have a look at uh, tropical cyclones. Just revise what we have done because this is very important. Firstly, you must know th that tropical cyclones, uh, the names are given uh, by means of the alphabet. Uh, a, B, C, D, Andrew will be one, Bonnie will be two, and so forth. They can give you any one in the exams and say, for instance, Jane, and then you will say, but uh, okay, that's easy, A, B, C, D, E up to J, that would be the 10th cyclone. Then the origin, we've done that in the tropics, in oceans, not nearer than five degrees from, from, from the o uh, ocean. Yeah, I see a question that has come through again regarding of the movement of, 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 of the uh, tropical cyclone. Somebody who didn't understand uh, how they move. Yeah, I've got it again. Let's just have a look at it. Remember, there are three things that you must remember regarding the movement of tropical cyclones. They move from east to west. They move away from the equator and they turn east at 30 degrees. Those are the three important things that you must remember when we do the movement of the tropical cyclones. You must know how tropical cyclones cause destruction. Storm winds, very hard rains, flooding. You must know in the eye, no winds, no rain, uh, no clouds. You must know the weather before the eye, during the eye, after the eye. We've got all our storms around the eye, before the eye. We've got storms, we've got winds, we've got hard rain. And after the storm, uh, after the, the, uh, the, the eye, but during the eye, we've got total calmness. And then the dissipation, you must know dissipation means it's dying uh, over land. Why? Because there's no moisture, there's no warm air, there's no friction. Remember that the tropical cy cy cyclone, the moisture and the warm air is like the petrol that you put in, the, in, in, in your motor car. That's the petrol of the tropical cyclone. And as long as this tropical cyclone moves over, over the sea, it can fill its tank all the time. 
But if it moves over the land, it's got a huge problem because then it's not got a petrol station that can supply it with the petrol anymore. And uh, because it has moved away from the, from, from the ocean, that supply is actually with its moisture and its warm air. And then, uh, how can the, the, the cyclone be, be, be managed? Very important. Uh, we've mentioned all, all, all these things. So people, if you have a look at, 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 at this uh, uh, slide that I'm showing you here, no, it's, it's a kind of, of, of a mind map. And uh, these eight uh, uh, topics that I cover here on this slide, these are usually the eight things that are examined when it comes uh, to tropical cyclones.